Hello everyone. Let's take a look at our next problem. What is the volume of the largest cube that fits entirely within a sphere of unit volume? Okay, so uh, we should just draw a picture and figure out the relationship between the radius and side length of this type of cube. Um, so Uh, okay, well, we're going to draw things in two dimensions, I guess. Um, but we'll imagine we're doing everything in three dimensions. Um, actually, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say that we're going to say this, the, the sphere has a radius R. And R is also going to be equal to the um, distance from the center to corner of the cube. So if I draw it again, if I, if I draw this in two dimensions where I have a circle and a square inside, the largest square I can put in here, okay, we have something like this. Then the radius of the circle is the distance from the center, is also this distance from the center of the square to the corner of the square. The same thing is going to be true in higher dimensions, where, um, you know, if you connect the center of the, the center of the square, which is also the center of the, or the center of the cube, which is also the center of the sphere, connect that to one of the corners of the cube, um, you'll get the radius of the sphere. Um, so we would like to find the radius of a sphere that has unit volume. Well, four over three pi r cubed is equal to one. Okay, so formula for the volume of a sphere, we're told the volume is equal to one. So we have r cubed is equal to 3 over 4 pi. So r is equal to 3 over 4 pi cube root. Um, and this is equal to this is equal to the distance from the center to a corner. Okay. So let's let um, if we draw an actual cube now, um, this distance, we can write that in terms of the side length of the cube using a three-dimensional version of the Pythagorean formula. So r squared is going to be equal to s over 2 squared times 3, All right? So if s is the side length of the cube, then s over 2 is half the side length. And if we go s over 2 in the horizontal direction, s over 2 in the vertical direction, and s over 2 in the through the page direction or through the screen direction, we will arrive at the center of the cube and these three, these three lengths are all perpendicular to each other. So the length from the corner to the center of the cube is just going to be s over 2 squared plus s over 2 squared plus s over 2 squared, but then square root. All right. Um, so we want to compute s cubed. Um, let's write this as... 3 over 8 s squared. We want to raise both sides. Well, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go like that. Is equal to s squared. Let's raise both sides to the power of 3 over 2. So 8 over 3 r squared to the 3 over 2 is equal to s cubed. So I have 2 over 
the square root of 27 times r cubed is equal to s cubed. And I solved for r earlier, right? In fact, yeah, r cubed is 3 over 4 pi. So I have 2 over root 27 times 3 over 4 pi is equal to s cubed. Um, Can I simplify something with these threes here? Um, maybe. Three over two, three to the power of three over two pi is equal to s cubed. Yeah, okay. So we've got, um, uh, goodness, one divided by two times square root of 3 times pi is equal to s cubed, which is the volume of the cube. So there we go. Um, yeah, you know, it's a geometrical problem. So draw a picture so you can see what it is you're doing exactly. Um, this was a, a little bit of a, a key insight, knowing that the sort of half diagonal of the cube or square is going to be equal to the radius. Um, you know, writing down the formula for the volume of a sphere and solving for R was pretty straightforward. But I think the two things that became, that were quite important were, were this, that the uh, half diagonal is a radius and knowing that we can apply the Pythagorean formula to um, basically half the side length of the cube to relate it to the half diagonal. Uh, and there we go. Um, that's our answer. Thanks for watching.